folks, as you can see by the box in front of you, what I have here. I will tell you this. This is Fat Guy Plaza RC coming to you from the main cave. Now, ever since I started my RC plane journey about, I don't know, 25, 30 years ago, um, of course, did it for the first year or so, got discouraged, didn't have anyone to learn from, I took one lesson, thought I knew more, and got out of it. Took a, about a 15 year hiatus, and uh, my wife, you know, my hobby of rebuilding computers and gaming, online gaming and stuff, just wasn't doing it for me anymore. My wife told me about, I don't know, about 10, 15 years ago. She said, why don't you take up that RC hobby again? Surely it, it, it's gotten better by now. And uh, I said, sure, so it's my wife's fault. <laughs> and uh, so basically after all said and done, I got back into it and I got back into it at the exact same time that safe technology through eFlight had just hit the market. It was the latest thing. And that enabled me to get into RC planes on my own because there was no one to learn from. There was no clubs nearby that I knew of. Well, anyways, to make a long story short, which I can never do, um, I've always wanted a B-25. And at the time, FMS had their version, but my skill level was nowhere near. The idea of a four-cell plane just was daunting to me. And uh, no, no way. I mean, I was... I had the, the Delta Ray, the big blue Delta Ray, and the little uh, Hobby Zone Sport Cub, and that was pretty much it. You know, that's all I knew from. And uh, then I got the little Hobby Zone, little black or blue and white one, and a UMX plane. And that was, that was the limit. So the idea of a bomber, something like this, just, woo, no way. Well, I like to say that my skill level has gotten better. And I saved up a little bit of money and finally got this. Of course, if y'all y'all watch Motion RC, you know the drama the Motion RC went through with US Customs. We all could have had these a month ago, a month and a half ago, but the US Customs decided that they needed to inspect these dangerous RC models. But you know, I understand they got their job to do. So let's unbox this thing. Now I'm going to tell you now. I have watched Wes, uh, Wesley there at uh, Motion RC, do his uh, build video probably 50 times on this. It is a very simple build. I am not going to do a build video. If you want to watch a really good build video, watch that one on Motion RC. It is the same thing I'm going to do. And I'm not trying to deprive myself of credit, but honestly, I, I even put a link in my video. It's not going to help me any. But I'll put a link in there because it's such a good video. However, what he doesn't cover, he doesn't cover radio uh, receiver installation. He just says, put your receiver in at this time. I will, however, um, do a post-build video and show you how I mounted my receiver and what receiver I used and how I set it up. So that will be uh, how my rates and all that stuff will be. Um, that I will do. And I was really surprised they didn't show how where the best place to put the receiver is in this plane. So we're going to get it unboxed, do an unbox building video for you. Then we'll break. I'll put the plane together. And then we'll come back and do a post build and radio setup video. And I'll go over anything that I found that wasn't covered in uh, Motion RC's uh, assembly video. I'll go over that. And uh, stay tuned. So let's, let's unbox this beautiful beast. All right, I've already cut the tape on both sides there. I'm actually surprised for set for such a big plane how small the box is. I figured it'd be much, much larger. But it isn't. It is going to be a two-part column. I can see that. Okay, let's see if it's got any of the specs on the side here. I got the plug and play, which I think that's the only thing they offer. No, no specs on the outside of the box, or in the manual or online. Okay, what do I do? Oh, number one. 
the bombs, the little bombs. And they make such a big deal about the uh, bomb bay door, which, oh, that's cool. But they can sit loose in there. Your different livery. Uh, now, if I understand right, these are water slide decals, which I've gotten somewhat better at, but um, still do not want, I would much rather have, I know that water slide do look better, but I would still much rather have um, vinyl decals. Manual not folded, that's always a plus. Uh, oh, and one thing, whenever you're putting planes together, you, you must have coffee. And if anything that you're putting together requires glue, you must glue your fingers together at least once. It's just sort of like, it's just law. I mean, it is, it's law. You have to do that. All right, this plane only has two wing spars, and they're very short. And there they are right there. I, mean, I literally have watched the uh, assembly video. Ooh, and you get a big tube of glue for just a few items. And I'm telling you, that glue, that, that glue they use, it's some of the best glue. I wish I, I wish I could just, I'm sure I could. I didn't have done a rough research on their website. I'd be willing to bet I could probably buy that glue. Um, but yeah, that's good glue. Uh, they call that cheap Chinese glue. Well, that cheap Chinese glue is awesome. For spinners. That was your bag of goodies, now your spinners. And you can already see I got myself a wing right here, or, or the outer wing section. This is a major model for me. This is not a cheap little, you know, hundred dollar thing. This is a this is a big model. This is a expensive model. There's the back half of the fuselage, which is absolutely flawless. Already got your uh, elevator servos installed. The quick connects right here. There will be a ribbon cable that will come out of the back of the fuselage and connect right there. You'll be connecting um, your rudder servos, two of them, leads will come up and will connect right there. And I've watched the build video probably, like I said, 50 times. Read the manual back to back several times. And as you would expect, everything is absolutely uh, protected. Has its very own little plastic bag. I mean, the plane is $539. Now, yes, I know I'm an RC plane reviewer. And my price for this plane was $530 or $529. You paid $529, I paid $529. I do not get a reviewer's discount for anything at Motion RC. And that's okay because they are an awesome company. And other than the uh, Bison, I have never had a problem with anything they've sold me. I like the fact that the spent the uh, uh, props are already in their housing. I of course will make sure that each of the these screws are nice and tight. I of course will make sure the props are balanced, which um, I should have a video out there with a link on how to balance your prop. Um, but I'll, I'll add that to this one too. These are counter-rotating, so they, they spin inward. The quality, as you expect from, from flight line, is there. A bit of a glue mark there. They, these lights are supposed to be able to be seen during the daytime. Day bright LEDs. Quick connect to take the end of these wings halves off. Again, bone pack, everything's protected. Just make this easier this time.
the other wing half. Stars and bars are already, and I don't know, I don't know if that's a vinyl sticker or if that's like a slide decal, but that's like very bright. It's almost like it's part of the, no, I guess it is a sticker, but it's a very good quality uh, water slide sticker, it looks like. And, uh, yeah, flap, the inner flap and the aileron connections are already made for you. So you don't have to worry about that. Go ahead and take, let's see, so I'm going to hide that stuff in there. Keep up with your, always keep up with your uh, packaging and stuff because, you know, God forbid there's something wrong with the model and you have to return it. You're going to need to um, put everything back in here the way you found it, which is easier said than done. One of my viewers has an excellent he takes colored pencils or colored markers and he just labels each piece and he marks it. So purple to purple, blue to blue, yellow to yellow. And that way you put your pieces of your jigsaw puzzle back together. So, so that's kind of like what it is. It's a big jigsaw puzzle. Okay, this is the layered foam coffin. And I really don't know why we call it the foam coffin. I guess because you're encased in it? I don't know. Alright. Oh boy. Very, very clever how they've put all this together. Okay. Vertical stabilizer. I'm sorry, the horizontal stabilizer, otherwise known as the elevator. Again, everything is packaged very well. You can see your little glue uh, foam uh, fill marks. Mechanical hinge. I did not pay, I didn't discover that in the videos. That, yeah, that's a nice mechanical hinge, and that's what you want in your elevator anyways. Let's look at our mechanical hinge on the flap, mechanical hinge on the aileron. Very good. Very, very good. All right, let's take a look. And of course, it's probably in the description. Mechanical hinge on your rudders. Yes. Yes, this, you know, you start seeing things like this, you don't, you may not notice them in the advertisement. You may not notice them in the, the promo videos. Um, but when you get this in your hand and you look at this and you think, yeah, okay, this is why this thing costs 500 some odd dollars. Because of exact, that things like that. Little things that you don't pay attention that are actually essential. Oh, man. I mean, it literally looks like they went out to the B25 and shrunk it down so you can hold it in your hand. Look at them, them doors. You just run your hand and you don't even feel the interruption in it. It's just so perfect. They've done such a good job with this. I'm sorry, but looking at this on video, watching me do this, this does not do it justice. I, I'm... I'm usually impressed with lots of certain things from certain companies, you know, uh, quality. This is, this is up there, okay, this is up there, this is really good quality here. Of course, the next big adventure is going to be where I put this thing. Um, I've already got an idea. I made a custom uh, ceiling holder that I made for this plane, which I'm pretty sure will fit. That I made in, in, by watching looking online, and I've got the twin timber E flat hanging on it over there. That's probably where this is going to go, and the 
E-Flight Twin Timber is going to probably find a new home. I am not happy with that plan. Not happy at all. After owning it for a while and flown it, flying it dozens and dozens of times, not a happy camper with that plane. There's nothing wrong with it. It's, now it's all worked out, but that's an entirely subject for a different video. All right, we have everything out of this foam coffin. Let me set this up here for just a moment while I pull everything out of the fuselage out of this paper or out of this plastic. Oh, there already was an opening at one end. Oh well. Man, this is just something else. This is going to be such a very easy. I can tell it's going to be such an easy build. It'll be such an easy build. All right. Let's go over what everybody wants to know about is the battery hatch. Okay. You look inside here. Took the top off. From the blue box, everything that's going to go to your receiver is labeled. Okay? And then you've got this perfect shelf right there beside the multi control box that just says put the receiver there. Okay? So, and then I'm going to label anything in the back of the receiver. It's going to go in there and I'm going to have a nice, clean battery bay. So, that, yeah. And yeah, that turn up the. the current is movable. You can probably tighten it down. If there's a screw behind there, you can probably tighten it down. It may not move as much. Yeah, that's exactly what that would do. Um, yeah, that's where I'll be mounting the receiver. Um, now one thing I notice, when you pull that hatch, it doesn't just pop up. Like a lot of them will just pop up. That one does not pop up. Okay, so What's going to happen? I mean, it goes up a little bit. There's not much to grab. You're going to be grabbing the sides of that. So y'all already know what I'm probably going to do. And that's going to be my antenna mod. Okay. And what I, how I'm going to do that is you've got hard plastic here for the um, latch to connect to. Directly behind that and I'll have it poke out about maybe centered. It'll be a black wire. It's going to look like a black antenna, and all it is is going to be the end of a zip tie. And then that way I can pull that up, and it's not going to take away. I mean, everything's got black guns and everything, so it's going to look a lot like that. And uh, that way I'm not grabbing this hatch with my fingers all the time, which, you know, you're at the field, you're talking, you pull the hatch, and then your fingernails rake across the side, and you pull your paint up, you, you you eat up the sides of the battery hatch. I really, I'm not guess you can grab the turret, but that's held by one screw and that's at the other end. So I think that's gonna get awkward after a while. It's gonna make that turret weak. And so yeah, I think the uh, my zip tie mod would be a welcome addition, welcome mod there for that. Yeah, this is, this is gonna be a very promising model. And uh, it doesn't it doesn't latch back in. You have to push the latch, set it in, and then s slide the latch in. So you've got, after all is said and done, you got your two nacelles that are going to um, uh, screw in with, a, with specialty screws. You got your elevator. It's going to go in the back after you build your tail. Slide that in. That's going to uh, clamp into uh, 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 in place. Two screws go on either end upside and down, put your wing in the sand, slide in your nacelles, glue on your peripherals and put on your water decals. It's pretty much pretty simple. Um, where you glue in the guns are obvious, um, very obvious where they go. There's holes already made there for them. Got your two pilots up there. You've got an instrumentation decal there. Yeah, this is, there's some thought behind this some definitely some quality. Um, there's your Bombay doors. Yeah, they're magnet held in with magnets, so they're gonna pop open. Very similar to what they did with um, one of their other planes. Oh, their F-22. Uh, the nose gear will pop open because it has magnets to keep it closed. 
So there you go. That's pretty much the unboxing. It's going to be a small part count. Um, let me see what kind of screws you're going to have to have. Uh, looks like a 1.5 meter or 2 meter millimeter hex drive and possibly, well, looks like it's possibly all hex drive. And then the four main wing screws, looks like they're going to be a 2.5 millimeter, maybe a three. It looks like all hex drive will get it all done, which uh, that's far superior to Phillips and Flathead. I'm, I'm impressed with that. So, simple build. Um, like I say, Wesley, uh, Wes, at, uh, their product specialist who does the assembly video, you can follow along with that one. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to pull it up here and follow along and put it together in just a moment also, just to make sure I don't miss any steps. And, of course, I'll have the manual open. But go by what's online as far as the manual because they, anytime they have an updated manual, they're going to post it online first, and they're not going to mail it out. They give you this one, the one that comes with the box, comes with the plane, and then any updates are going to be found online on at Motion RC. So make sure you uh, look refer to that one. It's very helpful when you're putting these planes together, especially when you got this kind of money involved, to have a little iPad or a laptop or something like I do. I have my a lap, a laptop with a big screen here, and to watch these tutorial videos and have it going uh, while you're building, it just assembling, because it just it, it helps you, gives you a guide. You can always stop and read it and then go back and then have the manual. I, I'm a very visual person, obviously, and uh, so that really helps, and I highly suggest that. Even if you have just had your phone there, you know, your, your, and we all have these little pocket computers, maybe that you have that there, you're okay, we're doing that, and then do it, or you know, just like anything else, it's just, you know, don't be prideful and say, I can do it myself. No. You put your money into this, okay? This was expensive. Get all the help you can. Look at it again. Watch it again. Read it again. You know, don't, don't, you want to have confidence when you go out to the field knowing you did it right. Okay, folks. Well, thank you for watching. This is Gear again. This is Fat Guy Flyers RC. This is the B25J Mitchell from... Uh, flight line for Motion RC. Um, I'm going to go ahead and assemble her, get her all together. I'll install my radio and everything, and then I'll come back with a post build video and show you how I put in my receiver, where I placed it, what I chose for a receiver, and how and anything that I, I found in my assembly that you need to know about. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless y'all, and don't forget faith, family, and friends. And then World War II bombers, which I've been meant to ever.